Happy New Year! This is Eric and I thought I would just help explain a little bit of our be do have process. This is what I'm suggesting is the simplest way to set and achieve goals of any kind. So if you're reading the article I've put this as an example. I just want to go through it real quick. Key point here keep it simple and positive. Don't state what you want to lose. State what you want to do or what you want to gain and this is going to help your mindset because we don't like to lose or quit. So in this example, this was the gentleman who wanted to be 180 pounds and 13% body fat and a list of activities that he would do to accomplish that goal and then what he would have in the right hand side. Just very simply laid out. We know you're going to have to eat better, going to have to have some exercise, make some healthier choices. Nothing here is stated as a negative. Okay, and you're not going to have anything. He's not going to get to have this until he decides what he wants to be, what he's going to do. Then this is what he'll have, and he should expect to see these things and more. I would say. Let's look at another example. So here is uh, one about personality and or traits known as the most punctual person in my spheres of influence. So here's a a woman who is habitually late and people are starting to tell her about it. So this is what she wants to be. She wants to be the most punctual person. Well that's a pretty dramatic change. Here's the simple things, well they are really simple, that she can do to help her have more respect from her peers and less stress. Everything from monitoring and setting her own schedule to not taking anything that would conflict with what's already on the schedule. So that's not a negative thing, but she's only going to say yes to things that do not negatively impact what she's already committed to. And here's just some other quick ideas. Because it doesn't have to be a major shift in your life to change everything, but let's just say you want to be more present with your family, or you want to be the best bowler on your team. You want to learn a new language? You want to be fluent in Italian. Maybe you do want to make a big change and become an architect. That was a dream you never realized. Or a big health challenge. You want to be a marathon completer, not just talk about doing it. Maybe you always were told you were funny, but you never got to try out being a stand-up comedian. That's certainly a part-time thing you could do. Or you could be a writer. Just again, remember, keep it simple and positive and have fun with it. We're really created to be creative, and this is a process that allows you to do that. Everything I've read and seen, I think it really comes down to this much simplicity. You can create vision boards, you can uh, create a lot of different goals, you can read a lot of books, but remember, you want to figure out what you want to be, list out the simple activities that you have to do, and then this is what you're going to have over in this column based on completing that process. Hope you enjoy it, Happy New Year, and all the best being exactly who and what you want to be.